You know, if I just say what I thought in my head right now, if I could just, you know, go back to where it all began and think and say it, speak it, but for me to go back and even try to attempt it, it would be impossible. Because it doesn't work that way sometimes. I've seen it went on for about seven minutes and I'm thinking, you know, I wish I have wrote that down or Record it, the person himself in my mind, you know. Remember my old ways and what God had led me out of, thinking I couldn't make it, thinking I couldn't survive it. People were reminding me of who I am, what. And then, see, I started getting off track and thinking, maybe they're right. I realized God don't make mistakes. It's impossible for God to make mistakes. When He chose you, He chose you for a reason. And if you get no people first, you have to turn to Christ. Well, that's what supposed to happen. And then when the bunch of people gang up on you that you say they love you, and then all of a sudden they, they're throwing spears and arrows. Now, they cut deep. On one side, I'm not totally sick. But then I'm also weeping on the other side, thinking, I know your faith. You are spoken of at the end of days, and also a few years. When people walk and make fun of you because you stand up to Christ, because you talk about Jesus and what he does to you. Well, you know what? He changed something inside of me. And I don't want him to change it back. I don't want him to go back to that. What you are right now. The mockers and the haters of God's people. And make fun of them. And literally see joy on your physical body jumping up and down, clapping your hands, and glee in your eyes. And I thought to myself, you really do hate Christ. But why? He did for you what he's done for us. He did for you what he's done for me. What are you afraid of? Really? Is he What you're doing right now? Unknowing to you because you think it's foolish to think what we think is going to be your faith. And you think it's foolish what our faith is. He's got all believing crazy stuff, doesn't he? God is alone. In our ignorance, sometimes we speak out of ignorance and we get high style. Bible says the truth. You're not even mad because we don't know the truth, and you know what? You're speaking something that is foreign to me, and you know the only thing I can do is just say something back to you. Because it hurts down deep. I don't want to really be truthful about that because. If I told you that it hurt, then I become like you, and you weep all the time, and pray all the time. You're not the same person that you was, cussing and abominations like I did. You didn't care. And when I do it, you look and stare. Say, so you gotta go. If I told you that they hurt, what would you think of me? Is that it? Are you scared? Are you afraid that God's not going to love you? If He loved me, He's going to love you. I was just like you. Exactly. I was a ping pong ball. Bad. Bad. And never stopped. I was a wavering man. I never make up my mind. Wish he was Bad boy. I'm the things that God says stay away from people like that. Now I'm sorry. But I realize that I can be outside with people, be around and hanging out. But when something, something sudden comes, something different comes, something 
of the ordinary streamers, where I thought I was, I become an outcast there also and become what the end and what? Because then they took the true color. People who are your friends, are they really your friends? You know, I remember going to the store and holding doors for people and thank you, thank you very much. And you know, it's respect and um, gratitude and you know, friendly conversation back and forth, you know? What I do it now, it's like I'm foreign from a foreign country. They don't speak back and I'm trying to figure it out. And then I realize, wait, 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 this is exactly what we are. This is exactly what we have believed in to make us this way. We've been lied to by so many people that it starts to affect us. Starting to make us angry because then we realize people who say they love us, and I would believe that you would really want me to believe that. And then when you see me changing, when you see me knowing that I don't do these things anymore, and you hey, see me, what I fight to get through the day, and you throw it in my face so easy. I should say, how dare you! Yeah. But there's something inside of me that says, Stop the violence. Anger is not of God. I told me I had a smart mouth. And I asked him, Can I have my smart mouth for you, God? That's why I want my smart mouth. I'll tell you something. For this smart mouth, I had my nose broke probably 13 times. I've been hit in the face probably 25 times because he's smoking up. I'm being honest with you about it. I've had a smart mouth all my life. I'm a McCoy, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Mixing's a little Smith. Forrester. I'm a zinger. <laughs> my bark is worse than my back. Now my daddy's bark. Worse than his back. You know, when he barked, he better. I mean, that's just it. Yeah, it's right there. See, I'm not like that. I have that aggression. I speak that tone. And I do make sometimes my family afraid. I realize that for all these years. That my tone is like my father's tone. Are they able to have that loud voice to where actually I didn't understand it. Until God comes to my life with my spirit. They were afraid of you. Mm, my friends told me they were afraid of you. Come out to I never saw it until God came into my life. I wasn't able to see God. I wasn't able to see all these things until he exposed himself to me. But he had already been this close to me in times of my life in the past. And I felt those same things as that night happened to me early in the morning. And I knew it was him. This time. <laughs> when you're a lover, you see I'm 100% sure of something. And I mean, you can stake everything on it that you have because you have the facts of everything. There's nothing out there that that is able to bring doubt in. It's been blocked. It's been Told it cannot come because this person is receiving the truth, and the truth has been received by him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I already knew who he was. He had given me those experiences through my life, and bad times in my life, good times in my life. When my kids were born, my son, my first one. There were times in my life where I felt. God, where I felt Christ, where I felt the living Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I accepted Christ when I was 17. I got married. I had my son when I was 19. I had my daughter when I was 20. When I was divorced, when I was 22. 
So, a little bit of FYI. Why did I tell you? <laughs> okay, but anyhow, um, when I'm 100% sure of Christ is in my life, they changed me inside. Changed me inside. I mean, it literally did something. It did something to me inside. But let me let me let me fast forward it all the way to where I am now. If you sin, if you sin after you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will leave you. It'll never be the same as it was when it came into you. I believe that's what I was supposed to tell you. Maybe if that's not, then I believe someone out there is going to need to hear it one day. Because they're going to need to hold on to their Holy Spirit longer than I was able to. Maybe that's it. Now, if it's just one, that's okay. Have one, right, Lord? Amen? Well, I love the story. That's what it's going to be. After 10,000 years, it will still be talking. And another 10,000 years, it will be deep. Staying white. <laughs> Amen. That's coming for his children. See, the ones that's already gone went ahead of us. They already know they're up there getting it all ready. Things going because they know. Yes, it's coming. All the evils will be stopped on. But the evil can't go on forever. And God's word is spoken true. The scripture says he's coming. I bet you 100% for sure. Something I'm staring on like the treasure I found in the dirt. See him. My treasure. Well, you can't see it. You can't touch it. But you know it's mine. It's worth more than gold and silver. Precious coins and jewels and rubies. But we fail, don't we? Let's be honest with ourselves. And you know, the devil doesn't miss a failure, a failing thought, a failing gesture, a failing hospitality moment, and you could have spoke a kind word instead of nothing at all. We seem to have lost ourselves into this world. Seriously, look at who you are and know that if you know something down deep just ain't right, the only comfort you have is when you pray about it. The only peace that comes into your heart is when you meditate on something that is so close to you and you're talking to God. And you're hearing back by people, by friends, by something on TV, by the car stereo, by your children, by your husband, you hear something back, by your brother, or by your sister, or by your Spirit is He speaks back to you. He gets the message back to you and the questions in your heart. And you know what? Those are moments in your life where you need to never forget. Because He's made you for something. He's made you for something more. And and the devil wants to get you off track. And I can only speak like that because I have let it happen to me. Um, my roommate came in the room and I was trying to turn it back on and screenshot this. How are you going? I was moving around a little bit there. And just thanks too, you know, I've been checking my spirit. God says test my spirit. In the word, test for spirits. I've been finding out that 
I need to be a little bit more attentive. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't want to be easily sidetracked. And I do believe that our evil spirits more now in this world than there ever has been before God created it because many of them have already died. I have heard in Bibles that are not in the Bible, but the Israel people read and uh, knew about. And one of them was, the Lord God of heaven, hope with the Holy Spirit, because I just had my thought fly away and I smelled right. And I want to talk about it. And you're not supposed to. But here's what I'm supposed to stop. Say amen. 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 All right. Um, I want to thank you too. I promise those five I love you. <laughs> that doesn't sound like corny from my half no ways in my hand. You know, but it's the truth though. Because I do. I do. And uh, I promise those five I mean, when I Google. Fallen angels that rebelled against God on Mount Hormel come down and had intercourse with our women, took them, and had babies. Their offspring lived 500 years. When they died, they become spirit. You can ask through the years, you know, ask through the years, those offspring of the fallen angels and the earthly women have died. They automatically serve the God of this world. Automatically. See what I'm going for? There's a lot more demonic spirit activity going on in this world now than there ever has been before the creation 